This video was sponsored by Squarespace. We're going to kick things off with Magic Particles, literally one of the most insane and amazing live wallpapers I've ever used. It's a wallpaper that responds to your touch, and you can control it with up to five fingers with varying responses. And the best bit is it interacts with the rest of the actions you do on your home screen. So if you're dragging an icon, this beam of light will follow you, and when you drop the icon down, it'll blast out in this fiery explosion. Another cool thing it does is every time you're in an application and you click the home menu, it does an explosion just to add a little bit of effect to your actions. As it is a live wallpaper, it will cause a little bit of battery drain, but it's not too severe, especially if you have an AMOLED panel. Next up is Placer, and to be honest this app is on here more because I think it's incredibly cool and interesting rather than the fact I would actually use it myself. Essentially, it allows you to pay people so that they can stand in a line for you. I know, right? Pretty crazy. Welcome to 2017. You can find or search for any number of top destinations, such as the Eiffel Tower in France or the Ritz in London, and then once you've selected one, you just decide how many people you want to wait in line for you and how many hours for. And you pay on an hourly rate, and I'm not going to lie, it's not the kind of thing I'm going to use because it's really rather expensive. To get someone to stand in a line for two and a half hours, you end up spending over $50 per person. Number three is More Shortcuts, and as the name might suggest, this is essentially more shortcuts for your Android device. Once you've installed the app, you can place any number of these shortcuts on your home screen and have instant access to them. And there are some useless ones here, but also some rather useful ones too, such as the ability to set a specific level of brightness on one touch. For example, when I want to go on a reading mode, I'll automatically set my brightness to about 5%. You can literally make that a button. Not only that, but you can make it check for updates, open a specific web page, or just turn your screen off. Then we've got Holo an app not really made for the serious consumers among you, but nonetheless it is loads of fun while it's at it. It uses a fairly low-tech version of augmented reality to project certain characters in front of you. Now it's not particularly realistic, but it can create some cool and fun videos that you can obviously share to your friends. And there really is quite a range of characters to choose from, spanning your favourite band all the way to your favourite superhero. Now, one thing about me is that I often have a really hard time sleeping, so I might be a little bit biased towards this application, but it has definitely helped me out. It's known as Paziz, and when you open it, you're presented with two options, either a sleep or a power nap, and depending on which one you're trying to go for, it'll stream the relevant audio tracks that can help you do that. So for example, the power nap will play a 20 minute track that tells you how to position yourself, how you should be breathing, and it is completely and utterly relaxing. Now this is not exactly the most well-made or polished experience, but it does also let you favorite the ones that you really, really like. Now WhatsApp has two great ways of communicating with people. You can either send them voice messages or you can send them typed messages. But the transcriber for WhatsApp allows you to send a voice message, which it then converts to a typed message. The app has some very basic settings, such as the quality of conversion and the default language you're talking in, but more importantly, it's effective at what it does, providing you speak a little bit slower than you're probably used to, and you enunciate words a little bit more than you're probably used to, you can get a very accurate result. The only downside here is it could be a little bit more seamless. As it stands, you have to voice record the message, send them the voice message, share that to the transcriber, and then copy and paste the message from the transcriber. Next up is Iris UI, a flat, circular icon pack which has this characteristic white circle. And the white circle isn't quite on the edge of the icons, but slightly inside of it. What this does is gives it a pretty fresh perspective in a form factor and shape that you're probably quite comfortable with. They've got pretty good icon masking for unthemed icons that go with just about every wallpaper and every widget too. So it's one of those icon packs you can just download and pretty much apply to any setup. So then we've got a very simple app. Known as Pronounce, it uses Google's text-to-speak engine to teach you how to pronounce just about every word you can imagine. So it's very simple, you simply type in the words you want to know how to pronounce, pick an accent that you want to know how to pronounce it in, and then just hit play. It also somewhat doubles as a bit of a translation tool if you're in an area where the accent is so strong that they couldn't understand you unless they hear it in their dialect. Now you may have heard of Tasty from their Facebook page. They basically garnered a pretty huge following just by posting these two minute recipes filmed on video. Now they've created an app and it has to be one of the best cooking apps out there for one simple reason. Every recipe is accompanied with one of their videos, and these are super fast, super efficient two minute videos where everything is done very quickly and you only see exactly what you need to see. As you can imagine, because each one has a video, this doesn't exactly have the biggest variety of all recipe books out there, but there's still a surprising number of dishes from a surprising number of cuisines. Another cool thing is as well as the ingredients and method, there's also a comment section below each one. So some people might say, this is a great recipe, but instead of using milk, use cream. For Zupa, we then have the Picks Up widget pack, 
which once installed gives you about a hundred different widgets which look like they were made by Google, but they're not. Ideally, they are made to fit perfectly in a Nexus or a Pixel style stock Google setup. But that's not to say they don't work in many others too. Get one of these, stick a soft background on any decent icon pack, and you've got a great looking setup almost instantly. And they not only look great, but most of them pack a lot of functionality into not too much space. So as we said earlier, this video was sponsored by Squarespace, and they essentially have a whole host of kind of really nice looking award-winning templates to build your own website. And these templates kind of take the whole faff out the experience. It makes it very easy to make something that looks very, very professional. So if you have wanted to make an online store or just a beautiful website as a portfolio for yourself, now's a pretty good time to do it. So you can either hit the link in the description or type in squarespace.com forward slash boss and then you can actually get 10% off your first purchase as well as a free trial. So guys, there we go. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Mr. Who's the Boss and I'm signing out.